Sir, so tell us um, your impressions of last night about Steve Jobs, but also where Apple might be heading. Uh, I, I love listening to Steve. Uh, he really stays on message. You may have heard that he repeated how many times, 10 or 12 times, that it's all about making really great products for consumers. Um, he said that repeatedly, and you know that's fundamentally true. We're here at a conference. I don't know how many people are here, four or five, six hundred people, and uh, I'd say at least half of them have an iPad and are wandering around. You know, I've got mine right here just to prove that I'm with it. Here's my iPad. Cool guy. And uh, so um, uh, he does make really cool products, and even the jaded kind of people that go to this conference uh, love those products. And uh, so then the problem is to figure out, so what's next? What's he going to turn into a really cool product? And I don't know if you could tell the code, but basically what he was saying uh, that he would do is exactly what he said he wouldn't do, which is to make a television. And uh, so I think the next major platform product will be, you know, essentially a really large iPad uh, that looks like a television. And I just imagine that this is like this big or this big and that it has the same operating system in it and that it's able to do television. And I think that's the next product you'll see out of Apple. He sort of dismissed last night the idea of an Apple TV or a TV, a convergent television product. Uh, what, what are your What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, um, I, I think Apple's next major new product. Uh, obviously, there'll be many more iPhones and many more iPads, so on and so forth. But as a really new product, is is an Apple television or iTelevision or whatever you call it, call it iTV. I think that'll be the next product. It'll take quite a while for them to develop it, not because it's hard to develop the technology, but precisely what he said last night, which is that it, the business is cluttered with cable companies and, and uh, satellite companies and you know companies that get in between Apple and the consumers so that they can't deal with them. What about the um, he, about search? He said they don't want to do search. What is, what's your take on search and this emerging world of apps? The uh, uh, he doesn't want to do it. Search means you have to go find it. It's really simple. And you, know, you listen to Steve Jobs, he keeps everything very simple. You have to go find it. You have to know what you want and you have to go get it. He wants to deliver stuff to you before you know that you want it. That's why you say he's not going to do search. He's not interested in search. And uh, if your device is smart enough and you get what you want on your device without searching for it, you're not doing search. And uh, he did, the question was entirely appropriate. The, he was responding to the question about Apple buying Siri, uh, the company S-I-R-I, can't get it now, the app's gone. That's because they're taking the technology that Siri developed, which they paid a lot of money for, and embedding it into everything they do. So you don't have to search if you use an Apple product. And how do you like your uh, your iPad? Um, it's really a full function product for a kid. It's not a full function product for an adult. Very good. Thanks very much.